so weird. Hola a todo el mundo, bienvenidos a mi canal. Soy Wenza y hoy voy a hablar de cómo aprendí español. So I've got a lot of questions of a lot of people asking me how I learned Spanish. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about how I learned Spanish and the steps that I took in order to learn Spanish. So basically, I grew up in a really small town and I grew up a lot of Hispanics. Most of my friends growing up spoke Spanish and I just loved the language. I always wanted to speak Spanish, but I never could. When I was in high school, I took Spanish one, two, and advanced Spanish, which the advanced Spanish class I didn't stay in only because I felt really intimidated. I felt so intimidated to be in a class with all these Hispanics who were fluent, and I I wasn't. I was the only black girl in that class, black person in that class, and I just felt really intimidated. So I dropped the class and I kind of wish that I didn't do that because I kind of regret it. I wish I would have stayed and just fought through it, but I didn't. I dropped the class about the third year of my college career. Um, I was actually working at a hotel. Me and my coworker were working and we had this lady come up to us and was asking for something in Spanish and I had no idea what she was saying. I was so confused and I, I couldn't help her. A coworker whose native language is not Spanish was able to assist her and I'm just standing there like, how do you know Spanish and he's like I learned it and I'm like so am I so that night I went home and I bought a Rosetta Stone and I that was the night that I started I was like you know what if he can learn Spanish so can I so I went home I bought Rosetta Stone and from that day forward I was just committed to learning the language I was on Rosetta Stone every single day I decided to go ahead and minor in Spanish so that I could take more Spanish classes courses while I was in school. During that process, I learned about study abroad. Never really thought to do it. I just took a pamphlet one day and was looking through it and I was like, yeah, let me sign up, signed up. Then I got accepted. I was like, well, should I go? Shouldn't I go? Turned out I was the only one, I'm the only one, who signed up to study abroad. I can honestly say that immersing yourself in the actual culture, being in Spain, surrounded by people who don't really speak English, where in order to get around in the country, you have to communicate with the people there. And in order to communicate, you need to learn their language, you need to speak the language. And so I can definitely say that that experience helped boost my Spanish learning process like a thousand. So I went there not knowing a thing, came back, speaking full sentences and i know not a lot of people are able to take time off from their life to go abroad for a few months or whatever to try to immerse yourself into the culture in order to learn the language but honestly that is the best way that's the best way you can learn committed to learning spanish i was so committed i downloaded all the apps i was on memorize i was on duolingo i was on the stone i also went on hello talk which is where I met natives in order to help practice and speak and listen and hear the different accents and the dialects of Spanish. Memorize, I can say, is one of the best apps that I've used in order to help me learn Spanish. It's basically just um, an app that helps you with vocabulary. It really does help you memorize the words because it's, it's repetitive, but it's also fun because there's different contents to the app. You can type also there's natives on there that actually says the phrases that you're learning in their dialect in order so you can hear the way that the accent is and how to roll your r's memorize is my favorite my favorite learning app duolingo i finished my tree it got really boring that's why i don't really use it that much anymore i would say it's good for vocabulary as well and then rosetta stone it's just boring i really don't know why i paid for it also YouTube there's only two youtubers that I would watch and one of them is butterfly Spanish she's amazing so cute so sweet the way that she teaches her lessons are amazing easy to understand and I just love her video so watch her and also Espanol con Juan 
he's actually lives in Spain and his accent is a Spaniard accent so I like to watch his videos in order to because that's the accent that I chose to stick with he teaches a lot of grammar um, a lot of things that are confusing for us who are learning Spanish to understand so there's a lot of things that are confusing in the Spanish language also while learning Spanish I suggest that you keep a notebook a regular notebook that way you can write all your notes in here words that you hear that you want to remember you write them in here just anything really that has to do with your language learning process I this is not my original Spanish um, book that I started off with the one that I started off with is actually somewhere in Haiti because my luggage was stolen that's another story for another time so with this basically what I would do is I would go on butterfly spanish watch one of her lessons and just write notes or i'll go with espanol con juan write notes if there's like a spanish song that i like i take the lyrics and i write them down in here basically anything that has to do with my language learning process anything anything really i just write it in here so that when i go back and look at it i can go through and study movies watch movies in the language that you're learning so for me I, on Netflix, I would either put the audio in Spanish or put the subtitles in Spanish. That way, while I'm watching my movies, I can also be learning. And sometimes there are words that I don't understand or that I didn't know. So I would take my notebook out, write down the word, write down the definition right next to it. Music, movies, the radio, like literally when I say immerse yourself in the language, everything, your like whole life should be surrounded by that language you're trying to learn. That's the only way you're gonna be able to learn the language because if not, it's gonna be a lot more harder. And I've been learning Spanish for four years now and I'm still not fluent. There's still so many things that I don't know only because I was too afraid in the beginning, especially to speak it. But now I'm speaking it more. I'm trying to incorporate Spanish in my social media, although sometimes I know my grammar is off. I still do it anyway because that's the way you learn. People correct you and you learn that way. And that was my problem in the beginning was I was scared to be corrected. But that's the only way you're gonna learn. So basically, I say if you want to learn Spanish, immerse yourself in the language, even if you're not able to travel abroad, find some Spanish friends, go on italki, find someone to Skype with. It could be 30 minutes a week. At least you're practicing. When you're watching Netflix, put the audio on Spanish subtitles in English that way you're practicing when you're in your car put it on a Spanish radio station you are practicing get a notebook write down vocabulary hear a song a pop song that you like write down the lyrics you are practicing you have to immerse yourself in the language in order to really soak it in because if not you're not gonna learn because trust me it's not easy is this has been one of the hardest things I've ever done but I'm so happy that I did it because it's opened up so many doors for me and honestly I don't know what my life would be like now if I did not learn Spanish I just really love this language and I'm so happy that I'm now able to communicate with people because even at my workplace I use Spanish all the time people are, every time I speak Spanish people are asking me ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? I'm just like oh well, I'm from here I learned Spanish aprendí and they're like really? Yeah, pero habla muy bien. Thank you. So yeah, basically that's how I learned Spanish, y'all.